This content has been deemed inappropriate for children under 13. Viewer discretion is advised. This is for adults only. Adult collectibles. So first off, we got the AIM Soldiers. This was one of the first fan channel exclusives that we got. And then we also got the Hydra Supreme Captain America and Arnold Zola 2-pack, which also came out on Entertainment Earth. Next one we got was the Hulk and Wolverine 2-pack, 80th year line. So then we have the Cowboy Logan with his red sword and his cowboy hat, of course. We have the revamped Big Time Spider-Man. We also have the repaint of the Agent Venom. This time we got the Agent Anti-Venom. We have a repaint of a Punisher. This time we got a Camo Punisher. Also repaint a War Machine here. This is the Punisher War Machine. Then we got a repaint of the Invincible Iron Man, this time in his blue and silver with a sword. Got a repaint of the Deathlock, this time his X-Force costume. And this time we got a revamped Giant Man build a figure from Civil War without those boot, weird boot things you had. And uh, the colors are actually movie accurate this time. Next we have the Love Triangle with Cyclops, Gene, and Wolverine with his bone claws. And then also the Havoc and Polaris 2-pack from X-Factor. And then we got the Suits 2-pack with, a 3-pack technically, with Deadpool, Headpool, and Hitmonkey. So these two actually came out of nowhere. They just threw these out there. Uh, were released to the public before they were even released in media was this vintage Deadpool X-Force with the red, kind of just a repaint. Um, and also the vintage Grey Hulk. So these are pretty awesome releases, uh, but they definitely just came out of nowhere. So Hasbro's kind of been losing their ability to advertise before the things are shown up. To, to consumers first. And this Hulk is probably the best of the four. Eh, maybe Red Hulk is. But this is a great Hulk too. And then announced at that German Comic Con in Dortmund, we had Black Storm, Black Costume Storm, which is a repaint of the White Costume Storm. So it was good. Definitely needed, but we hopefully will be getting a better storm here even even sooner than later. Haven't seen her in package yet, but uh, she was announced that we are getting her. So here is the new deluxe Marvel Legend figure for the Black Widow movie with her White Widow costume, if you want to call it that. Scarlett Johansson. This is a bigger box, kind of like they did with the Giant Man. This is fan channel exclusive release. So here is the newly announced re-release, repaint. As a fan channel exclusive of the Monster Venom. And of course, the Monster Venom came out as purple. This one is going to come out more of a black wash, and the symbol on his chest is completely different. So we'll see how this looks. Uh, it's kind of a large figure for Venom, but Venom can make any shape he wants to, I guess. Um, so we'll see how that goes. And just announced, we have another fan channel exclusive vintage card back. We have the Gray Beast. Comes with the glasses and a book and an alternate head. This thing looks amazing. Can't wait to get this one. Go pre-order it now. So here is the new fan channel exclusive vintage card back. Mysterio repaint that we're getting. And in my opinion, this looks so much more classic, so much more perfect than the original Mysterio that we got last year. I'm very excited about this figure.
So here are all of the fan channel loose. And here they all are in package. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave any kind of comments. Hit that notification bell so you're aware of any new videos that I have. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit a thumbs up. Share this video with your friends. Check out my other Every Marvel Legends videos. Also my top 10 lists. Check out my son, Zach Legends channel for news and figure reviews of Marvel Legends. And I will talk to you guys later. Guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. You can find all the photos that you want of these videos.